uh, Unusual Whales video titled This is Truly Incredible. Here is an exchange with, uh, with Senator James Lankin and uh, Janet Yellen. He asks, will every bank get the same treatment as, as uh, Silicon Valley Bank? Play for me, Will. Start with some of the banking issues we're dealing with on it. Will the deposits in every community bank in Oklahoma, regardless of their size, be fully insured now? Are they fully recovered? Every bank, every community bank in Oklahoma, regardless of the size of the deposit, will they get the same treatment that SVBP just got or Signature Bank just got? A bank only gets that treatment if a majority of the FDIC board, a supermajority, a supermajority of the Fed board, and I, in consultation with the president, determine that the failure to protect uninsured depositors would create systemic risk and significant economic and financial consequences. So what is and your we plan? Made that determination. Right. right. So, so what is your banks. plan to keep large depositors from moving their funds out of community banks into the big banks? We have seen the mergers of banks over the past decade. I'm concerned you're about to accelerate that by encouraging anyone who has a large deposit in a community bank to say, we're not going to make you whole, but if you go to one of our preferred banks, we will make you whole at that point. Um, look, I mean, we're, that's certainly not something that we're encouraging. That is happening right now. That is happening because depositors are concerned about the bank failures that have happened and whether or not other banks could also um, no, it, it, fail. No, it's happening and because it's, you're fully insured no matter what the amount is. If you're in a big bank, you're not fully insured if you're in a community bank. Well, you're not fully insured. and You, you big, were at Signature, the, and the it, big, was, it just barely met that threshold. You were at Signature. Well, we felt that there was a serious risk of contagion that could have brought down and triggered runs on many banks. Um, and that's something, given that our judgment is that the banking system overall is safe and sound, um, depositors should have confidence in the system. And we took these actions. So there's a special assessment that's been done on community banks in my state and all banks across the country. Was there any discussion that that special assessment would only apply to the larger banks? Or was it always assumed the special assessment would cover every bank, including rural banks in my state? Um, I, I think I, I'm not certain what the rules are around that. Um, that that's for the FDIC to determine. It, it, it has been reported publicly that uh, SVB had a large number of Chinese investors that are there, including some that were companies directly connected to the Chinese Communist Party. It, will, will, those individual, will those individuals, companies, entities, and investors that are Chinese investors be made whole based on assessments in my banks in Oklahoma? So what I'm asking is, will my banks in Oklahoma pay a special assessment to be able to make Chinese investors whole from Silicon Valley Bank? Uninsured investors will be made whole in that bank, and I suppose that could include foreign, inv foreign depositors, but I don't believe there's any legal basis to discriminate among uninsured I get it, but I, I'm just saying my community banks are going to pay this additional fee. It is always fascinating to me as well, the conversation that taxpayers are being made whole in this, that taxpayers are not going to have any kind of consequence on this. I'm sure my bankers are going to be very excited to know they no longer pay taxes. I know that wasn't the world's most exciting video, but I had to show that to you because in the midst of Alvin Bragg, the district attorney, bought and paid for source district attorney, persecuting through prosecution, what we call lawfare, whether instead of warfare, it's lawfare. In the midst of doing that, we have our banks collapsing all around the country. Why are they collapsing? Because they're overextended. And when you're overextended and they raise the interest rates, you go down. Interest rates are raised to deal with inflation because we have hyperinflation brought about by printing money, which Joe Biden has done. Just so everybody knows, 50% of all dollars 
All dollars currently in circulation in the United States in 2023 were printed in 2022 and 2021. So everybody, it's 50% of all dollars, $10 bills, $20 bills, $1 bills, $5 bills, that you see in current circulation inside of the United States were actually printed over the last two years. So 50% over the last two years sounds like athlete deaths, doesn't it? You had 1,700, athlete, 1700 athletes that have dropped dead over the last two years. In the previous 50 years, you had 1,300. Now, in the previous 200 years, basically, you had 50, you had 50% of our current circulation of money, and all of the rest of it was printed in the last two years. That's where we, and, that, and this is what we're concerned about right now. And you actually have what, what, what's actually being spoken about there with James Lankford, Senator out of Oklahoma is basically only preferred banks. Again, this is, are going to have be made whole, including, including Chinese depositors. And, that, and Janet Yellow goes, I don't see any legal reason why a Chinese depositor shouldn't be made whole by the federal government, i.e. our tax dollars, because they're not a United States citizen. It's the same argument with voting. I don't see why they can't vote. They live in America. They're not a citizen. There's certain things you just don't have a right to if you're not a citizen. Let go over and try to vote in China. Try to be made whole at a Chinese bank. We're not a world bank. These, the FDIC is simply for American banks. It doesn't have anything to do with banks in the Netherlands or England or anywhere else. It makes absolutely no sense. The only preferred banks are going to be paid back because this is all about leveraging you into a one world commerce system with a singular access point controlled by a tyrant. Now, here's the thing. So if you only have, which is what happens, they basically had a reverse run on the banks where people were pulling out all their money from local banks and putting it into the big four like Bank of America and Wells Fargo, Goldman Sachs, banks like that. And it was already happening. She's acting like, again, she's playing stupid. Like, I, you know, I don't know if that's going to happen. It's currently happening. And then she says, well, it is happening. It's happening because they're going to where the, wherever the Democratic Party is. They know that Bank of America, Wells Fargo, Wells Fargo who wants to trace gun sales, they're going to Democratic Party banks because the Democratic Party will pay out those banks when they collapse. And when you're sitting there and you know that you're running a business and you can run your business into the ground and somebody's going to pay you full price for your business, when it's no, say it was worth a billion dollars, you've run into the ground, now it's worth 500,000, you have the federal government still gonna pay a billion dollars. They know that. They do whatever they wanna do if you're a preferred bank or you're a preferred foreign entity who is extorting the president of the United States, which is the CCP. So if the CCP loses money at SVB or any other banking institution, they will be made whole because if they don't, they will expose the Bidens.